Welcome back, Seth Pling here, and today I am going to show you a mod that I wrote for the Super Mario World Jailbreak, and it involves this guy. This is a Super Nintendo mouse. Uh, they produced these back in the 90s, obviously, for the Super Nintendo. This is actually made by Nintendo. You can see the logo. Ah. <laughs> I'm bad at this. You can see the logo there. Uh, this was the main game that they made this for was Mario Paint but it actually, there were quite a few games that supported it. Uh, now, I'm gonna be loading up the Super Mario World Jailbreak. If you haven't already seen this, this is a bunch of corrupted save data that we've loaded onto a Super Mario World cartridge. And uh, basically when you load file C, it loads up this hex editor and there's also a mod loader. So I'm gonna use the mod loader to load in the mod that I've already written onto the cartridge. Here you can see all of the code. Uh, it's all of this data up until the last byte is over here. So uh, a bit less than the maximum 256 bytes that a, that a mod can be and, and still fit on a single page. Um, but yeah, so we've loaded up the uh, we've loaded up the world. Let me go ahead and press select an R and now the mod is running. So now we have mouse support in Super Mario World. So I'm gonna hand my controller to my girlfriend Amy who's gonna help me demonstrate this. Uh, she's gonna run around and uh, and I'm going to use my mouse. So you can see it's, here, I'm gonna actually take that from you. I think I, yeah, I've got it. <laughs> and uh, kill some, kill some bad guys. Um, you can throw things around. Let me, uh, let me grab one of these. So it retains its velocity when you throw it, or at least some of its velocity. Uh, it's, it's actually, um, I had it retaining more of velocity before and it was like hitting the cap, the speed cap and kind of like, instead of, it was like overflowing. So instead of going left, it would go right. Weird stuff like that. If we go a little bit farther in the level, let's see, we can go grab the Yoshi block, it's this one. Uh, you can move Yoshi around, but uh, but you can't actually move him around if you're riding him. So if you get on Yoshi, uh, no luck. Uh, we, can, we can, however, move these around. Most of the blocks in the game are not, uh, are not things you can move around, but these are. So now at this point, uh, Amy can just run to the right. Hold this one, yeah, there you go. And you can actually just run through the level at this point. So this is pretty cool. Uh, I had to I had to learn quite a few things about how the game handles um, controllers and manual pulling of controllers. Wah! <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. You can keep going. Keep going. To the... Yeah. Uh, and also P4 plus two helps me uh, help me Wah! with sprite <laughs> detection code. So, okay, well we died. That's okay because it's time to show you something else, a different level. All right. So here we are in Star World Four. Basically, the other day we were trying to beat the game. I was using the mouse to try and help her out, moving enemies around and stuff. Um, you can actually kind of steal this from each other. <laughs> You're like kicking it. Anyway, goodbye, Red Yoshi. We discovered some interesting things about these gray platforms, which is uh, namely that you can actually pick them up with the mouse. So if I click in the middle here, I can I can pick it up. Uh, the direction of rotation is actually controlled by uh, the X coordinate. If it's odd, it goes one way. If it's even, it goes the other. Um, all right, so I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna try and pick her up. Uh, go for it. Uh, yeah, no, we're good. We're good. Warp speed. <laughs> so the level is actually kind of not really loaded here, but we're gonna we're gonna try and move a little bit farther in the level. Go, go, uh, One, go, two, three. go. <laughs> Warp speed. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, we made it. All right, I'm gonna pick this up so it doesn't get in the way. So we are somewhere around the keyhole right now. Because <laughs> I because I recognize these guys. I think I think what's happening is you you might actually walk off the edge. Were you like stopped by something here? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> no. Okay. Well then, keep keep walking to the left then. Okay. You, did you get stopped by something here? Or? No. You didn't. Keep walking to the left. No. 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 Wait. 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 These are these, never mind. Go to the right. That's right. I remember now. Ah, oh, okay, there's the keel. <laughs> so, okay, there's actually a block right here uh, where that's hidden by this glitched out world. So, um, let me, so we can't actually move the block. Uh, what I can do is I can grab one of these guys and, <laughs> it's cool, you just, I think you just stand there, it's fine. Uh, I don't trust it. Okay, we're good, <laughs> we're good. And I think I can actually even just like hit the block maybe? Yeah, we're good. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I could have killed you there. Anyway, let's get rid of this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. <laughs> so, one last thing. You can actually move keyholes. They are sprites, the things you can move around. So you, Also, something I didn't show you is the mouse actually wraps around in this version. Uh, so, 
It goes both vertically and uh, and horizontally. It wraps around. Anyway, go ahead and, and put it put the key in the keyhole. So, all right, that's the SNES mouse mod. Uh, if you want the code, I showed it earlier in the video, but uh, there's also a link in the video description in case you happen to have a SNES mouse sitting around and also a jailbroken cartridge. Uh, it's definitely fun to play around with this and write it. And um, and yeah, once again, thanks to P4 Plus Two for some help teaching me some of the things about how controllers work, how the mouse works, and also how um, how to do some like enemy collision detection stuff so that the cursor could actually pick up stuff with the mouse. But uh, thanks to Amy for helping me record this video, and thanks for watching.